Little wins, right? Yeah. I did it, and there's Tom. Secret play. Welcome to Retired Time Productions. So we're working on the FPV setup now, and this is the part four video of the Mini Pixhawk build series. I've got the telemetry radio right here mounted on some sticks, and that seems to be working really good with the antenna aiming down. So I think I'm going to do the same thing for the video transmitter. I'm going to have the uh, circular polarized antenna aimed down like that, and then I'm going to glue on two more sticks. I've just got them laid there right now and then mount the video TX right on top of those sticks. I have some sticks gluing here to go up underneath the frame. I don't expect this will be too interesting for most people because they won't be using this woody frame that I'm using. You can use any frame you want, but I just thought I'd show them. I'm going to be gluing these sticks on next and then mounting the hardware. So here is the basic wiring setup for the FBV that we'll be using with the Mini Pixhawk. The Mini Pixhawk uses a Minim OSD right here, like this one that I got from Hobby King. So I'm going to be using a Fat Shark 5.8 600 milliwatt transmitter right here for the video. This also has audio on it that can be hooked to a microphone. But I just wanted to go over the wiring for it. So it's clearly labeled right here what the different pins are to these connectors. So what I've done is I've taken the video out right here and the ground and run it to the output of the Minim OSD over here. And conveniently the Fat Shark transmitter also provides 5 volts so I was able to run a red wire over to the 5 volts on the Minim OSD to power the two stages on that. And I have this jumpered so that I can do that. Sometimes you can power the second stage from 12 volts and the first stage from 5 volts, but I decide to run um, both stages from 5 volts. Now the whole thing can be powered by a 12 volt battery that plugs on right here, so a 3 cell LiPo can go right here. And if you look at this wiring, I've taken the uh, battery and ground pins right here and run the ground pin straight to the battery, and then the 12 volt pin, uh, which is the battery pin, it'll accept 12 volts, is going to the battery but also the battery is feeding uh, the camera through the Minim OSD right here so 12 volts is going in here to the middle pin and coming back out on the other middle pin to the camera the 12 volts is not going to the Minim OSD I've cut the etch underneath the board so that 12 volts does not go to the circuitry on the Minim OSD as I said it's being powered by the 5 volts over here that makes the board run a little bit cooler and uh, I think it just provides a, a better all-around noise reduction for the, for the Minim OSD. So this is a PZ0420 board camera, and it's mounted on a little uh, bracket right here, just an L bracket. I also have a microphone on there, which is a powered mic, and I may hook that up to the audio input on the video transmitter. Not sure yet. Not really needed. Okay, so there's three wires coming from the camera. One is ground, one is the video signal, which is the yellow wire, and of course the voltage is the red wire. And that goes into the uh, input on the Minim OSD, the three input pins. And then the output, of course, runs back over here, like I said, to the video transmitter. So it's fairly simple. And I'll draw up a little schematic for this and post it so you can see how this wiring is done. So the Mini Pixhawk supplies the Mavlink stream on this white wire here and the ground. And that's going to hook to the Minim OSD right over here on two pins on it. And that'll pretty much complete the FPV setup. So I've hooked up a 3 cell LiPo battery to supply the 12 volts to the setup. And of course the 5 volts is coming from the regulator on the VTX and going over here to the Minim OSD. So everything is powered off this one battery. So let's take a look at what it looks like in the goggles. Now you can see that the Minim OSD is already running because it's got that 5 volts, but it doesn't have the Mavlink stream, so you won't see any updates on the information. But that's pretty much what it looks like. Well, it's lucky I ran this on the bench for a while because I found out the 5 volts that comes from this Fat Shark transmitter is not enough to run the Minim OSD. It ran it for about a day or so while I was 
testing it on the bench and then it burned out the 5 volt regulator in this transmitter. The transmitter still works as far as transmitting the video but it just doesn't have this 5 volt accessory board anymore. So what I have to do now is run the minimum OSD off of UBEC which is actually the way I normally do it anyway. So I've soldered a UBEC on here on one of these accessory leads from the Q brain that I'd added earlier. Didn't want to tie up a plug because I'm going to use that for the lights and other things. So I'm going to go ahead and mount this UBEC underneath the board here and just tuck it out of the way and that's going to power the minimum SD. Goes in right over here. So here is the updated schematic for the Mini Pixhawk project and I've added the FPV section down here. So this represents the 5G8 transmitter which is right over here. I'm using a Fat Shark or Immersion transmitter. And this is the board camera right here, which is over located right there. And both of these run over to the Minimo SD, which is over here in the corner. And I'll post a link for this schematic underneath the video so you can download it if you want. Now, both the transmitter and the camera are getting 12 volts uh, supplied to them. And that's coming actually from up here. I've got it represented right here where it's coming off the 3DR power module output. Also, the UBEC, which is now tucked underneath here, the UBEC uh, runs the Minim OSD down here, and it's also getting 12 volts from over here on the 3DR power module output. So that's just a little explanation, and I put a note here to say where it's coming from, the 12 volts right there. And as far as any other voltages, they've already been wired up in the previous schematic. So this is just an update of the previous one. So now that the FPV gear is installed, I'm just charging up the quadcopter and we're going to take it out for just a short test flight to look at the FPV and see how it's working. Nothing fancy, just going to lift it off the ground and maybe turn it around, then land it just to see how the FPV works and I'll record it on the uh, Fat Shark goggles with the DVR on the goggles. So that's it for now, and as I said, I will post a link to the schematic for this where I've added the FPV gear underneath the video. And uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it, or if you don't like it, you can give me a thumbs down, whatever you choose. And uh, leave any comments you want to under the video, and uh, we'll see you later. Hit your button.